What's up, cypherpunks? Welcome back to episode two of Terminally Awesome. In today's episode, I will show you how to navigate the terminal like a true professional. So the first command probably that you've learned when you used the terminal is CD, which is short for change directory. And you use this to, as the name implies, change the directory from one location to another. And CD is a great command, but it's also a little bit cumbersome. There are alternatives or extensions, let's say, to CD, which are pushd and popd. So with pushd, you can push a certain directory path onto your stack to be remembered for later on. And with popd, you can go to any of the entries in your stack. This is cool and all, but you know, I found it kind of cumbersome. You either have to type out an absolute path that starts with a slash and is the absolute location on your disk to where you want to go, or you have to type a relative path, which may imply some dot dot slashes to move one directory up. So what if I told you there is a tool that you can install in your terminal right now that will change the way you navigate completely for the better. Enter Zoxide. Zoxide is a terminal tool written in Rust yet again, so you know it's blazingly fast. Of course, it's cross-platform, so you can start using it whether you're using the Chad Linux, the Soy Mac OS, or the really, really bad Windows. And you can also use it in any shell, just like the previous tool that I showed you. By the way, if you haven't watched it, I'll link the video. You really should go back and watch this one. And finally, it's really lightweight and easy to configure. There's basically no configuration at all except for the setup. So this is Zoxite. You can find it on GitHub and they come with some neat explanation of what it is, i.e. a smarter CD command. And they also give us some demo of how we can use it. I will show you this in a second as well. And then some basic commands that you can apply, as well as the mandatory installation page. So we have the various Linux distributions here and how to install it. They don't list Nix here, but oh, actually here it is on the Nix packages, but don't install it this way. I will show you a much better way to have it with Home Manager and as a Nix option, but we'll get to that. And then they also give an explanation of how to set it up in your shell. I'm using bash, by the way. So it's very simple to use. We just have to put this statement usually at the end of our bash RC configuration. If you were to use ZSH, which is a valid choice, not judging you, it would be this command. And I'm sure you can figure this out by yourself. I won't go much more into the detail. So let's dive right in and start using Soxite. So here I am again on my normal home directory. And usually, you know, when I navigate, maybe you've seen this in my other videos. Let's say I want to go to my code repository. And my code repository is called Open Source Odyssey Website. It's a long name and it's nested in the code directory. So it's really cumbersome to go there. But I need to go there frequently. So what if I can just press enter now? Whoa, I'm there already. Damn, boy. So let's check the current working directory. And yes, I went from here to my from my home with just this to my code repository. That's the power of Zoxite. But wait, you asked, I've used CD and not Zoxite. So how did I do this? Well, under the hood, all I did was this. But over the years, I've gotten really accustomed to navigating with CD and I didn't want to reprogram my brain in this way. So all I did is set a bash alias in my bash file. Under the hood, Zoxite, if you start using it, it will remember the paths that you travel to frequently on your disk. And it will list these paths in a database internally. And whenever you type something obscure like this one, it will look up in the database which entry is most likely to match this and then go to that directory. So if you want to see the Zoxite database, you can type ZI and this will show you the various paths that you have on your Zoxite database along with how frequently you are using it. And as you can see here, I'm using my website quite frequently. By the way, I also have a complete playlist on how I create this website. So if that is of interest to you, go check it out right here. In this scenario, you can also 
manually navigate to each of these directories. So if that's your fancy, you can also use the ZI interactive command mode. I just think it's kind of interesting to every once in a while look at these directories and see how frequently you use what. So if I want to go back from my dot files again, which is here to my website, I would just type something like this. And again, I'm in my open source Odyssey website. In other words, you don't have to remember really the absolute file paths anymore. All you need to remember is some kind of string that is inside of the file path. And if you frequently go there, Zoxite will figure out the rest for you. So this is the NixOS module where I define my abstract bash program. And as you can see right here, this is the entire alias you have to set to switch out CD with Zoxite. So it's very, very simple. Or if you're using just the normal bash RC, in my case, this is generated from my home manager config, so I don't manually touch this file, but the alias would look something like this. So just alias CD equals to Z. Now for my NixOS homies, there is a special part of this video. Zoxite can be configured through Home Manager very easily. And I have configured it in such a way that it is just a option that I can use in my terminal tool belt and then enable it on all of my system in all of my environments. So this is my Zoxite program configuration. First up, I create a new option. I name it Zoxite program to not interfere with the normal programs.zoxite path. I want to keep it distinct. I name this option, enable Zoxite for the shell, pretty self-explanatory. And then all I'm saying is the configuration is if this Zoxite program is enabled, I want to enable the Zoxite program and enable the bash integration. In the Home Manager option search, you can go like Programs, Zoxite, and find out all of the various configuration options that you can put here. Like we just saw, I have the Enable, which is mandatory if you want to use it, and I have the Bash integration. And you could also add some more options. You can specify the package that you wanted to use, whatever tickles your fancy. That's what she said. <laughs> And then all I have to do in my terminal tool belt, I'm saying, okay, I actually do want to enable the Zoxite program. And that's all you need to know about Zoxite. Let me know if you start using it and how you like it. Please leave a sub and a like and share this content. See you in the next one. Onwards, cypherpunks.